Hello. So in my last video I talked about raising mason bees. This coming spring I'm going to have mason bees in my garden. Um, and the reason is they increase pollination in your yard. Uh, you get more fruit, more vegetables, potentially more flowers. Um, and the second reason is to increase the population of the mason bees to help offset the honeybees that are struggling right now and have been struggling for quite a while with a bunch of diseases, uh, colony collapse disorder, all kinds of problems that they're having. Um, if you want to raise them, uh, you can have wild ones in your yard, possibly. Um, you can also purchase cocoons. There's a company called crownbees.com. I'll put a link below in the description. Go on there, check out their website. It's loaded with information. Um, you can purchase the cocoons from them uh, and take it from there. Just read up on the website. Lots of information, like I said. I have the cocoons. Um, you store them in your refrigerator. Um, you put them out when the temperature stays about 50, 55 degrees, um, and then they break that uh, the, the hibernation that they're in um, and then they go out pollinate your flowers, your vegetables, your fruit trees. Um, they lay more eggs in the housing that you provide for them and then the cycle just continues on. Let me go ahead and show you what these cocoons look like. Uh, you get 20 in the order. There's large ones and small. The large ones are the females, the small ones are the males. Uh, they arrive in a great little box. Uh, Two-day priority shipping is what you choose. So they get to you uh, fairly quickly so that you don't have them sitting in the post office or the mail truck or your, your mailbox for too long. You want to keep them cool. Uh, keep them in the refrigerator. Inside the main shipping box is this tiny little brown box. Um, and in that box are the cocoons. Like, you know, they're, they kind of look like rabbit poop. Uh, they're about the same size, maybe just a little bit larger. Um, it comes with a care sheet, um, instructions of how to take care of them, uh, keep them in your refrigerator. You want to keep a little bit of humidity on them. Uh, there's a little humidity, uh, like a humidifying container. Um, that's on order too. I'll show you that when I get it. Uh, you don't want them to dry out of the refrigerator. Um, reeds, they, they lay their eggs in these reeds um, that you put inside of a little house that you can purchase the house. You can make the house. It's similar to a birdhouse. I'm going to make mine, and I'll show you that in a future video. Um, so I'm pretty excited to try this. Uh, I will make videos, and I'll show you kind of the steps um, as I get along, uh, as I progress into it. Right now, like I said, all I have is the cocoons. Um, I have a kind of accessory kit on order. Um, I'll show you that. The reeds are on order. They're being delivered. They should be here sometime this week, I'm hoping, and I'll show you that. So again, crownbees.com. Take a look at their website, read up on the information. Let's, let's all try and <clears throat> help the pollinators, you know, they really need it. I know a lot of people say, oh yeah, we need bees, you know. Uh, they, they pollinate a third of our crops and, you know, but unless you actually take steps to go try and do something, um, contact somebody about it, voice your opinions, or like me, you know, start raising them in your yard. And even if it, they benefit just your yard, at least that, you know, that helps a little bit with the population of bees that are struggling. Bumblebees are struggling, kind of they're all, they're all, they're all having a hard time, the pollinators. So anyway, that's enough of my ranting about pollinators. Um, I hope you enjoy the video and I will talk to you soon. All right, bye.